More Dune is coming. Just what you wanted. More sand witches. <laughs> I can see you're not laughing at that last joke, but we're going to talk about the witches of Dune. That's right, the Benny Gesserit. And as a giant Dune fan, Vili Dune, Dune. Frank Herbert's original stuff. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Do you see my little uh, my little guy back there? That's right, I got one of those fancy little sandworms, popcorn tins. He's the man. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be interesting. It's gone through some creative problems this show, and I guess that could make a lot of sense because Dune. Was, everybody was kind of uncertain. Dune was released during the time that shall not be named. You know the pandemic time, and it was a real struggle to see it. You know, was it profitable? Nobody was really sure if it was profitable. And then Dune Two came out and kind of knocked it out of the park. And everybody was like, "Yeah, let's finish this up." It should be released later in 2024. I think it was already kind of in the bag, and they were just deciding whether or not they're going to release it or how it was going to be released. But let's take a look at some details because I myself am not super familiar with this because it is outside of the six books of Frank Herbert Cannon. It's based loosely off of, uh, you know, uh, Frank Herbert's kid and Kevin, I think it's Kevin J. Anderson. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look. We'll, we'll read some information, see what we think. I saw the trailer and was like, I like this world. But do I really care about all this? And are there going to be any sandworms? I don't think so. It's going to be hard to say. Uh, but let's take a look at what everybody's looking at. Uh, actually, let's go to IGN first. It's doing much more than setting up the Bene Gesserit. And I get, you know, look, it's weird because Bene Gesserit are, you know, like these witches. And they have, like, power, right? That's cool. Um, but is it like all going to be all strong whammons? There's going to be a lot of strong whammons in this. But this was all, you know, Frank Herbert wrote all this a long time ago. So it's based off of his materials. Here's what I don't get. Does anyone need a a, a pre a, like a, a prequel to Dune that has nothing to do with the Atreides, really? It does mention the Harkonnens, but in completely different tones. This is 10,000 years before Dune happens. Does anybody really care? And what's fascinating about this is th th this is based off of, like, it's just so strange because they're like, it's a couple hundred years removed from the Butlerian Jihad, right? So essentially, the, the way to describe this is humanity got super advanced, right? And they were using AI and, and robots for everything to the point where, with the help of some humans, the AIs revolted and enslaved the major or like at least half or the majority of humankind and were going to lead humankind they were trying to extinguish humankind from existence other than as slaves uh for their control that sounds pretty cool i am interested in that how about we talk about the butlerian jihad where the humans fall back that's what that's all about why are we talking about the formation of the Bene Gesserit? not so sure that's as interesting other than they wanted to do a show about some strong whammons don't know um and a lot of what they do is like the, their power is based in in a breeding program so that they can breed paul essentially paul's not the one they were looking for but they were looking for a quizak hatterack so i just i just don't see that being super interesting right and even the, the footage looks okay, but and I like the sci-fi stuff of it. Yeah, it's loosely based off of, loosely, Frank Herbert's son, Brian. So Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, Sisterhood of Dune, which will focus on warring factions, including the Bene Gesserit, the Mentats, and everybody's using space in the Space Guild, right? All like groups we haven't explored other than the Bene Gesserit at all. So this will be completely unfamiliar for you. I guess... It will help introduce the Space Guild and Mentats, which are important if they're really going to adapt uh, Dune Messiah properly. So maybe that's kind of part of what they were thinking. Uh, it's weird because Denis Villeneuve was part of it. 
and then ha they like made some creative changes and he's no longer actively part of it he was part of the original plan but he back they backed out of it i don't really know what happened here so it's very strange right and then if you we go to this article from space they have a lot more detail so we'll just go into who is who and what they're doing uh but all of a sudden dune's hot now right they're they're finally actually adapting things properly right i guess that's what's going on here it's supposed to launch late later months of 2024 uh okay i don't see how that's gonna happen maybe it is um they're it's gonna exclude exclusively stream on max and uh let's see here we got the trailer which we watched which was you know kind of okay uh loosely based on the prophecy yeah 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 Oh, they changed it. The name was changed, right? And uh, what was the original name of it? It was, I think, it was called Oh Dune: The Sisterhood. That's when Villeneuve was still part of it, I, I think. And then it's set in the same continuity, obviously. And uh, Emily Watson's in it. I mean, she's good. Mark Strong is cool. Uh, you know, I, I don't really recognize a bunch of these other people. So like a bunch of like not super famous. So there's not a lot of famous people. They're like basically just hedging everything on the fact that it's it's all based on Dune, right? Uh, there were a bunch of creative shakeups last year before uh, the enduring the writer strikes. D uh, D Denis uh, were all were both part. Denis and his writing partner for both Dune movies were both originally part of it. And then they were pushed out of it, I guess. Hard to say what is going on. But now the creator and the co-showrunner and pilot writer, Diane Ademo-John, whatever, Ademo-John, The Haunting of Bly Manor, I don't know anything about that, was replaced. She was replaced by Allison Schapiker, Westworld, as solo showrunner. And we all know that you know Westworld started off good but got ran into a wall. So I don't know. I it's, it's going to be hard to say. Like I said, I like a couple of the actors. Do, do I really care? It's going to be weird because you're going to see the names of characters that you're familiar with, but they're going to be in different roles. So not real sure how this is all going to pan out. I'm sure it'll do okay. I'll watch it. It's part of the Dune Duneverse now, right? Is that everybody needs an expanded Duneverse? I still think the Butlerian Jihad would have been far more interesting of a topic to talk about, and there were plenty of strong whammons in that. The only thing I can think of is that they know there's a lot of heavy lifting that needs to be done for you to understand exactly what's going to happen in Dune Messiah, because they didn't, Denis didn't bother to introduce the Spacing Guild, barely introduced Mentats. Uh, Thuffer Hawat was written out of the, the movie, essentially. He filmed. He filmed scenes in, in Dune 2, but they eliminated them. And then on top of that, uh, they don't mention the the, the, the Benny Telexu. Like, uh, the Benny Telexu. I, I don't know how they're going to talk about them. Or you, you know a little bit about the Benny Jezzer, but not really. Like, you know there's a Reverend Mother and all that stuff. But it's going to be tough. And, and I think maybe they were doing this to make it easier for Denis to do more, but then he got kicked off of this. So who who knows what's going on? Let me know what you think. Are you excited? Are you going to watch this if it comes out? Are you going to wait to hear if it's any good? Might be a snooze fest because I don't know how exciting it looks. doesn't look that exciting to me, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be happy to have a dialogue about it. I'm a giant Dune fan. I've read all the Dune books numerous times, at least three to four, if not more, maybe six times, some of them. I've read all six uh, Frank Herbert books numerous times, and I've read a couple of the, like I've read the Butlerian Jihad and a couple of the other books. I'm not as big of a fan of those as I am of the straight, Her the Frank Herbert books, but they're the canon for me. Anyway, let me know what you think down below, and I will catch you. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. All that great jazz. We have a live stream. Yeah, you'll figure it out. We love all y'all, but uh, I am on to the next one.